Hey, it's Curtis Allen from Distill Media, a video production company in Kelowna, British Columbia that does regular freelance work for CBC. Here today to talk about my new camera, the Ursa Broadcast G2 by Blackmagic. Now this is a camera designed specifically for broadcast work, for ENG work. And what's really cool about this is it has internal live streaming built in. And it can actually stream right to this little device here, the Atom Streaming Bridge. And all this does is receive the signal from this camera and send it out over SDI or HDMI. Really cool, and I want to see if this can work similar to how a DeGero would work. Because I don't own a DeGero at this point, I don't have enough work to justify owning a DeGero, but this device right here is $350, and my camera can stream to it just using my smartphone. So we're gonna run a little test and see what the video quality is, what the latency is, and if this is a comparable product to a DeGero for broadcast news. Okay, so we're going to power up the device here. All we do now is connect it to the network over ethernet. There was some port forwarding involved, but it was really, really simple. And then because it's just going to a TV, I'm just going to plug in an HDMI cable right into it like that. It's now listening for a signal. It's going to be watching for that signal from the camera. So we're gonna go up on the mountain right now and see if we can stream back to it. Okay, so we're up here on Dilworth Mountain. We've got the camera all set to go. I'm just gonna plug in a USB-C uh, cable back here. You can also hook it up over ethernet or a little Wi-Fi dongle, but in this case, I'm just gonna plug it into my phone and make sure that my phone is ready to start sharing over USB. So let me just enable that. I'm just gonna share my data, hotspot, and USB tethering is now on. Let's put the phone up here for now. Then I just go into the menu settings and I go into the streaming menu, which is uh, through the setup here. And I can see that right now it is not streaming, but I've seen my Atom streaming bridge is there and I'm going to hit stream. And that should start streaming video 6.5, 5.8 megabits per second down to the office. Really, uh, really quite slick. So with that, let's give Caleb a call and see if he can see us. Hey Caleb, can you uh, see me and hear me? I can see you loud and clear, nice and crisp. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, like, are we getting any uh, like interlacing or anything like that? Any lines? If I do a little dance? No, it looks like I'm looking right into the viewfinder there. Got a good, good image. Okay. Nice. Let's do a little latency test. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the phone down. I'll give it a little clap. When I clap, let's see how long it takes to get to you. Sounds good. Okay, I'm gonna put the phone down. Three, two, Three, one. Two, one. There it is. It sounded like a, a second. Maybe less. Do it one more time. Wow. Oh, one more time, okay. Three, two, Three, one. Two, one. Done. Yeah, I'd say that's about a second. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> even the Dejeros usually have a little bit of a latency of maybe even up to two seconds. So that's pretty good. Okay, so that could not have gone any better. We had about a second delay, a second of latency. Over LTE on Rogers, just one uh, Pixel 3 connected over USB-C into the camera. I don't think that could have gone any better. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how it looked on his end. So that's the Atom Streaming Bridge. And what we're gonna do is we're going to recommend that our partners who we do uh, freelance videography for uh, in broadcast news buy one of these, that we can stream directly to their control rooms. We think it's a great solution because we don't have a DeGero and this kind of does the job of a DeGero. Uh, couldn't be happier. That's our little review of the Atom Streaming Bridge and the Blackmagic Ursa Broadcast G2.